after I read the script and I spoke to Mark Canton and I said, you know, I really want to do this and I understand it and it's this is what it's about and this is who she is and I can really help, you know, tell this story and bring this person to life and, you know, you got to get the guy from the thin red line. <laughs> and he's like, oh, oh, Jim Caviezel. I'm like, amazing, amazing what he can convey with his eyes and just the title Angel Eyes. It was just, it just fit to me. Mark. Okay have gone through police kind of training before so this time what I did was more research like what cops think the different kinds of states of minds I read cop stories different books like that of actual experiences that cops go through and how things affect them emotionally and I thought she was gonna be oh, all no. prissy, you know? Yeah. You know, and cut. It's like, what's the big deal? It's jumping over a fence. I thought they were gonna like open the gate. I didn't want okay. to tell nobody, but I know you can do it. I used to climb up faster than anybody in the Bronx. All the boys. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I didn't say nothing just in case I couldn't do it no more. After they saw I could do it, then they're ruthless. <laughs> Why aren't you sweating? You know? I don't sweat. Yeah, that's not okay. I don't sweat. Very physical. She is extremely charming. Um, besides all of that, she works so hard. There are very few women that could play a cop like this. Next up, the same type shot for the electric gun. I can cook too. I thought that Jennifer was somebody who you would believe as a police officer. Action! But at the same time, when we actually started working, uh, it surprised me the amazing range uh, that she has. I think she's a very smart actress, but also a very intuitive one. And we were so in sync that many times I would come to her and tell her something, and she would say, That's exactly what I was just thinking. Don't fuck him up! Put your hands up here! He's okay! I told you to wait, damn it! This is 76, 73, it's a 10 1. My partner's out with you. Luis is not sensitive to love stories. Luis is sensitive to human beings. He understands what people go through in a daily life. In just personal experience, he understands human beings, you know, and because of that, he can tell any story, not just love stories. I think he could direct any story well because he really does understand the human condition. When difficult things happen in your life, there's two choices, either to lose hope and go downhill or to realize that that's just another step in your life into something bigger into something grander please i'm trying to tell you something okay i'm trying to tell you that you're not alone this is really a story about love you know, healing them through tragedy, through loss. And, and really, that's the only thing that can do that. It really shows that you can move on in your life. You can suffer great tragedy. You can suffer intense abuse. You can suffer terrible things in your life and still have the chance to move on and live a happy, loving life. It can happen through love. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>